time visiting with you and I'm going to be focusing the next few lessons on a different continent each time. We're going to be starting in South America and as you can see on the map here there are many countries and islands that make up the continent of South America and maybe you even moved here from one of them or you have some family who live in one of those countries. But let's start with some fun facts about South America. Fun fact, fun fact. coming up. Fun fact number one. Did you know that 20% of the world's oxygen is created from the Amazon jungle? That is a large amount. Fact number two. The Amazon River is the second largest river after the Nile River, but the amount of water that comes down the Amazon is more than all 10 other longest rivers in the world. That is a lot of water. Fun fact number three, the country Colombia produces the most emeralds in the world. 90% of the world's emeralds come from Colombia. Colum uh, emeralds are the green um, gems that are very beautiful. They're, they're green. They're very nice. Costa Rica, which is one of the islands, airplane. Okay, that airplane's gone. So we're on our fun facts. So uh, Costa Rica, which is an island in uh, near South America, considered part of South America, Costa Rica is the happiest country in the world. Way to go, Costa Rica. The official name for Mexico is the United Mexican States. So our first song is called Mi Burro. I'm going to be using a drum called a cajon from Peru, which is a box with a hole in it. And uh, you see me sitting on the, on the box and I'll be playing the beat to that song. So this song is in Spanish and it's about a burro or a donkey that is carrying a lot of fruit to the market. And on the way, he sits down and he uh, is not going to be going anywhere and he says, hee haw, mi burro. Mi is found in Colombia and Mexico and we are going to be using a pandiero which I found out is a tambourine <laughs>
or the duckling in the song is very funny. It's also in Spanish. Oh, you can't make fun of uh, Mrs. Monahan's Spanish. I'm doing my best because I never learned that language. I learned French. The song has verses about other baby animals like perritos, which are puppies, and ositos, which are teddies. But this song is about uh, patito, which is a, a duckling. And I'm pretty sure it uses rhyming words. You'd have to help me and tell me if, if the words in the song are rhyming words or not. So, I think the birdies are going to help me sing uh, this one. This is called Patito. And then we'll get our shakers out. So my turn is first. Patito, Patito. Your turn. My turn. All right, let's try the whole thing from the beginning. If you don't have it, maybe you can just sing along or you can play your tambourine. song is called a jump and we're going to be accompanying it with uh, maracas. The song has two parts to it. There's the A section that has different dance moves. We have jumping, then we have sliding, and then finally we have kicking. Those are the three. And then after the A section is the B section. That's the free dance section. The words are just la 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 la. Ready? Mm -hmm. Here's our Mexican hat dance. One, two, here we go. A jump, a jump, a jump. Turn around. A jump, a jump, a jump. Turn around. One more. A jump, a jump, a jump. Turn around. Last one. A jump, a jump, a jump. Turn around. Now we free dance and we shake our tambourine or a mark. La 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 now we slide side side. Uh, what about the kick? We slide now. Ready? Go. A slide, side, side, turn around. Side, 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 turn around. Side, 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 turn around. One more. Side, 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 turn around. Now we do free dance. Ready? La 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 And Callie, take your bow. 
So I hope you've enjoyed learning about songs from South America, some folk songs, and all the percussion instruments that are from those countries where they've been made and played for many years. Next time I see you, we'll be moving across the ocean to Africa and we'll learn some African folk songs and some of the instruments and we'll learn how to make some of those instruments too.